Right around the time I started to get back into comic books, there was a little TV show on called The Walking Dead. And The Walking Dead was amazing. It was followed by Talking Dead and then by Comic Book Men. It was a wonderful evening of television that I looked forward to every single week. And at this time, I had started going back into the comic book shop. I'm reading Dan Slott's Spider-Man. Rick Remender would start a new Venom run starring Flash Thompson as the host. And then I found out that The Walking Dead was actually based off of comic books, a black and white zombie book by none other than Robert Kirkman, who had already had a comic book out prior to this called Invincible, a straight superhero comic book published under Image, and it was highly regarded by those who knew about it. Invincible wasn't a huge comic book. I mean, this was one of those books that I would imagine if you were reading it during the time, you kind of felt like you were in the loop of something special, something that was not as well known as, let's say, Spider-Man or Venom or Batman or whatever else was being pumped out by the big two during that time. This was a low-key superhero book that once I got into it, quickly became one of my favorites. I read and reviewed this via the oversized hardcovers that was the only really collected edition besides the trades that were out at the time. Actually, if I recall, they had, I think, two or three volumes of the library edition, and then they had a 12 edition oversized hardcover set that you could read and collect this run. And I remember in that review wanting to collect the entire run in the library editions and sadly, those of you in the comments let me know that, hey, they haven't published any new volumes in quite some time, and it doesn't look like they're going to continue this run in this oversized, almost absolute format styled hardcover. Needless to say, I was pretty upset. I really wanted the entire run under one format, not half of the library editions and half of the oversized hardcovers. But fast forward to modern times, not only did Image start publishing soft cover and hardcover compendiums we ended up getting a animated series tv show that is widely regarded as one of the best superhero adaptations of recent times so i thought i would today take a look at both the hardcover compendiums uh the three volume set and the six volume library editions both collecting the entire 144 issues of invincible but kind of giving you a comparison and contrast looking at the price looking at what they collect putting them up to standard size hardcovers or standard size comic books and uh, give you my opinion on which one do I think is better. And we're going to have to get rid of one of these sets. So hang out with me while I do some overhead shots. This is not going to be so much a review of the series as it has been some years since I've read it. Please feel free to check out that video that I did years back when I first read it. It's a great video. I watched it recently and I was like, okay, Jim, you did your thing on this one, but this is going to take a look at the artwork and we'll talk some about the story as I can recall it. All right, before we jump into it, I do want to thank Organic Price Books who helped me curate all of these volumes as they were coming out. OrganicPriceBooks.com, you can pre-order, you can purchase in stock collected editions. They have bomb proof packaging, fast shipping, and you can save an extra $2 by using the code GEMMINT at checkout every single time you order from them. So as I kind of alluded to, the hardcover compendiums are standard size. They are the same size as a traditional comic book and how fitting we break out another Robert Kirkman book with his current ongoing series, Void Rivals, Energon Universe, ties in with Transformers and G.I. Joe. Definitely should check it out. But we're here for the hardcovers for Invincible. So the hardcover compendium essentially collects two volumes of the library editions. Hardcover compendium spine looks beautiful and then the slip case as you guys have seen in the intro uh, a little bit more traditional with the yellow and everything but um, like I said collecting issues 0 through 47 this first library edition collects half of that and then you would need volume 2 to bring you up to 47. So let's talk about price here. These hardcover compendiums retail $99 when they're in stock at a place like Organic Price Books. Typically, they are much less. Now, these library editions, they cost $125 each. What do you get with these? So you get a hardcover slipcase, which, like I said, is very much in the vein of the DC Absolute Editions. With the hardcover, you get a much larger trim. So let me go ahead and break out this Void Rivals once again. So you can see you get the larger artwork. So if you don't know, if you're not familiar with this story, you have Mark, 
uh, Grayson, which is a nod to Dick Grayson, is a uh, virtue might. He knows growing up he's a virtue might. His father has similar abilities as Superman. And it's kind of like a Superman story as far as like Kryptonians and their powers. But then it's also like a Spider-Man story in the sense that Mark Grayson is kind of like your Peter Parker. I mean, he doesn't have that damn Parker look or anything, but he deals with going to high school and relationships and learning and growing with these new powers that just come into fruition. I think it's around the time of adolescence. So almost like an X-Men story in that sense. And then I always compare Invincible to more of a manga in the sense that you grow old with these characters. The status quo doesn't reset. Things happen to characters that have lasting implications. It's not like just, okay, we can comic book this thing and come back to life. People die, they stay dead. People have children and you grow with them similar to like a Dragon Ball. So like I said, you had volume one and then you have the volume two slipcase. You have Omni-Man, which is Invincible's father. The family dynamic there, them fighting when Mark learns of the true nature of the virtue mites and what they're there on earth to do and how that affects his mother. So if you guys have read it and seen it, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to spoil it if you have never gotten into Invincible. I think the animated series is a really good place if you're not much of a reader, if you kind of want to anime this instead of reading the manga in that sense, you have that option with both books. But yeah, uh, I am a huge fan of the oversized absolute edition. If I'm going to collect something in a collected edition, I typically want it to be the biggest and baddest version you can get. Uh, it does have more uh, bonus material as well. Like you can see a sketchbook here at the end of volume two. So that's another thing that you get in here that you don't get collected in the hardcover compendium. You just straight up get the stories. So you get the oversized trim, you get the slip case. Unfortunately, it does not have a ribbon like the Absolute Editions from DC. And I also think it's weird that the backside of the slip cases from the library editions are mirrored like this. I don't know why they chose to do that. I guess to differ uh, differentiate from the front. Complete Library Volume 2. And then it's mirrored on the back. Mark regular and then mark with battle damage. All right, so the other thing with these hardcovers are neither version of them are immune from dings and damages. My hardcover volume three has a nasty damage up on the spine for the compendium. And then the library edition for volume three has some damage as well. And also volume three is kind of weird in the sense that it's the only one that the spine of the actual book doesn't match up with the rest. All the other volumes have this kind of invincible logo wrapping around. But for whatever reason, volume three doesn't. And as hardcover collectors, I mean, that's really what we look for in hardcovers is uniformity. Some people don't display their spines this way. They disp uh, display them with the book spines. So that really, it really doesn't make sense for this edition because like I showed you with volume four, they're all just very bland. I couldn't see myself displaying this rather than this. But some people do, and it would definitely throw it out of whack when it comes to the hardcover. So just a quick look at the front and the back. Man, you meet incredible characters in this story, from Battle Bees to other Virtue Mites, Adam Eve, and the relationship. You see how it evolves so much from when you first meet them. Look, tell me this doesn't give you Goku and Gohan vibes. Like I said, the relationships... Uh, the battles, the fights, they're brutal, they're gory, they're heavy for something that looks like a nice animated series. Nah, it ain't too nice. So you have some bloody, crazy scenes here. Again, the Compendium Volume 2, it collects all the material that are in the Library Editions 3 and 4. So just want to show off a little bit of it here. This feels more like a pocket handbook to me compared to the, the Library Editions. So here you go, all the artwork, epic scale of epic proportions in this run. Yeah, so the library edition volume four, slipcase, hardcover, Omni-Man. Is it Alex the alien? I forget, or uh, Adam, Alan the alien, it's Alan the alien. So different cover, color pages here. 
And again, just flipping through, giving you an idea of the format, the artwork, and, and what you're getting here in these volumes. Nice, huge double page spread here. What is this, Cecil, if I can remember his name? The head of like the government agency that monitors these superhero activities. All right, and then just to quickly show off Compendium Volume 3 and the Library Editions 5 and 6. So more Mark and Adam Eve on the slipcase. Actual hardcover itself. Beautiful Ryan Otley art. As we open up and show you the differences here. So I, actually, this is a good example. They're pretty uniform in the sense that this collects issues 97 through 120, and then this is gonna be 97 through 144, that final issue. So let's just see how the same panels stack up to each other. So you get the cover here. Boom, and this is how they kinda stack up. All right, so it's just a quick flip through, and then we'll look into volume six. So again, it's kind of like a very Batman the Animated Series look, but it has way more adult themes, violence in, in situations with more long-lasting uh, effects than your typical superhero book. All right, let's take a look at volume six. The most recent volume to come out, once again, Battle Damage Mark with Omni-Man on both sides, again, mirrored on the back side. Man, I even forget these characters, guys. It's been a minute since I've read it. As we open up here, page 121. So here's my thing. If you collect standard size hardcovers, easily you get more bang for your buck out of the compendiums. But if you are a absolute edition collector, if you collect the Spawn Deluxe Editions, and you know, you're able and you have the means you're definitely going to want to spring for the library editions to get these in the most uh, prestigious format out there possible. The largest page trim, the biggest artwork you can get, plus you get the bonuses. If you just want to read the whole series, you might as well go with the soft cover compendiums. Yeah, taking a quick look on Amazon, you can pick up the soft cover compendiums for about $30 each. So if you really just want the story to read it, you probably want to go that route. Although I don't think the soft covers hold up very well over time. I'm not really a soft cover collector. Uh, if you want to go the next step up, like I said, hard covers, man, hundred bucks each. So yeah, that's where I'm at with it. I mean, I much pr rather would have the library editions, but obviously they're more expensive. It takes more volumes to collect it, but you get the oversized artwork. What do you guys think, man? What's the best way to collect Invincible in your opinion? Single issues oversized hardcovers, soft cover compendiums, hardcover compendiums, library editions. Let me know in the comments down below and thank you for watching. Stay minty fresh y'all. Peace.